Welcome to the latest installment of Chord by Chord, a new series designed to build your understanding of harmony and your familiarity with the fretboard. Today we're going to work on a new chord type, diminished, and I'll show you a bunch of ways to transition between various A minor and A diminished voicings. As shown in example one, a minor chord is built from three notes, the root, the minor third, and the fifth. In a diminished chord, two of these notes are the same, the root and the minor third, but the fifth is flatted or diminished, as shown in example two. The difference is subtle, but the sound difference is actually pretty significant. Here's example one. Now here's example two. See how different that sounds? Example three makes use of the four middle strings of the guitar and the root note is played on the open A string. This example begins with the open A minor chord, which normally when you play it, you can include the E strings on the guitar. But in this case, the E is the fifth, which is the only note that changes between the A minor and A diminished chords. So we have to leave it out. In example four, we move a little further up the neck. In this example, we're still using the four middle strings. We're still playing the root note on the open A string and we're still leaving the E strings out. To make for the smoothest transition here, I suggest a little unusual, a little bit of an unusual fingering, um, which is to play the note on the seventh fret with your pinky and to bar the notes on the fifth fret with your index finger. That way, your index finger, it's easier to move it back to the note on the fourth fret. Which also happens to be the fifth. In example five, you're borrowing two of the notes from the last example, but this time we're gonna only use the top three strings. For this example, you could also play the root note on the open A string if you finger pick. Example six is an eighth position. For this one, it helps to bar the top three strings with your index finger, so that way you don't have to move your whole hand when switching between the two shapes. And the last and probably the easiest example, example seven, happens up at the by the twelfth fret. Just like example five, you could also add the root on the open A string by finger picking. All right, well hopefully now you feel comfortable transitioning between A minor and A diminished chords. Um, it's worth noting that in application, diminished chords are usually used to transition between other chords in a song. So I'm not going to play a song for this video, instead I'll just say that the classic usage of a diminished chord is in an old silent movie soundtrack when the villain is tying the usually a damsel in distress to the railroad tracks. So that's it for this video. I will see you next time when I explain how to connect E minor and E diminished chords.